Hello YouTube and everyone, we love Rosen back here, crazy ass videos as always. This is a crazy big video with a lot of information here. Um, got the good old paper notes. Uh, Nintendo Direct, the recent Nintendo Direct, happened a couple hours ago in the morning, uh, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, I did not watch it live because I was way too tired to get up. I was just so comfortable in my bed and I was up until 3 in the morning. I was going to stay up but I decided to just go to bed. Go to bed for a couple hours and wake up around 7. But I didn't. Uh, I stayed in bed until 9. I was like, oh shit, it's 9 o'clock. I, I had my cell phone next to me. I was like, checking the time constantly in the middle of the night. And yeah, it was just crazy. So it was 9 o'clock, 9 something or whatever. And I, I, I knew it was over already. I knew it was going to be that long. It was like 30 minutes or something. I decided to go on the Nintendo Direct channel on YouTube, on YouTube and just watch it there. It was around like 34 minutes or something like that. Good length. But... Yeah, Iwata was obviously announcing stuff, and yeah, first off, he was talking about Miiverse and everything like that. You know, keep in mind, this is in Japanese, so I'm not, I don't speak Japanese, I don't think any of us, I don't think any of us do, so it's kind of hard to translate, so I had to go on IGN and all the sites and everything to see what was going on and everything. But yeah, he's talking about Miiverse and obviously, Virtual Console, Wii U Virtual Console got announced. Um, not a big surprise. Some people were, you know, expecting that. Um, not really shocking, obviously. You know, I was shocked by the Wii, Virt the Wii Virtual Console five, six years ago. This, it's not shocking at all. But, yeah, they're not going to bring everything over to the Wii U yet. It's NES and Super Nintendo games. Some people wanted GameCube games. Yeah, too much. Um, yeah, NES games will be four ninety nine to five ninety nine. And Super Nintendo games would be $7.99 to $8.99. So that's a good price. A little bit too much for Super Nintendo games, but, you know, they're they're all great games. So it's worth it. I already have all these games on NES, on Wii and 3DS, so I'm not, I'm not going to buy them. If you want to buy them, that's great. Good for you. Yeah, there's already Balloon Fight on there. It's 30 cents. Very cheap. And we'll, we're going to be getting an NES game each month. So next month will be F-Zero. I think I have these wrote down here correctly. I'm not in order. F-Zero, Punch-Out, Kirby's Adventure, Super Metroid, and Donkey Kong. So, there you go. Uh, it's great to play them on your gamepad and everything like that. It'd be fun. But then things started to pick up. And we got some games announced here. Some small games. Yoshi's Island on Wii U. Not really a small game, but something kind of niche, you know, a Yoshi's game. This, this, was, this was rumored for a while, a Yoshi's Island game. I don't think it's called Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Land. I'm calling it Yoshi's Island because, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, it looks really cute. The art, art style looks amazing. It looks like Kirby's Epic Yarn because that's what it is. It's, it's yarn. Uh, at first I was like, what is this? Is this Kirby's Yarn? Kirby's Epic Yarn? Uh, I was really shocked at first. Yeah, Kirby's Epic Yarn mixed with Yoshi's Story. You know, yeah, good art, awesome art style. Probably still in development. And, yeah, it's going to be great. Not, not obviously a casual title, just something niche for Nintendo fans. Um, yeah, who knows? They haven't, I don't think they haven't set, I don't think they set a date yet for the game. But, yeah, next title here, small, small title. No one's going to probably buy this. Um, Wii U Party. Yeah, it's something kind of casual, fun for the family and everything like that. It's, these titles are always welcomed. They're always great. They're always fun. I love Wii Party. And... Yeah, it's, it's awesome. You know, I knew something like this would get announced, something small or whatever. But, yeah, after that, they announced some, I don't even have it written down here, actually, in my notes, because I didn't really care. Even though I do love Fire Emblem a lot, but some Fire Emblem crossover game with some, ser with, with some series I can't even pronounce right now because I'm not a fan of it. I don't even care. Go check it out. You probably are a fan of the series. I love Fire Emblem, though, but... It's just fan service. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. But, anyways, Wind Waker HD remake got announced. Yes, not a port, not some port that was polished. A real HD remake of Wind Waker. Uh, not needed. I mean, it's really not needed at all. I mean, was the Ocarina of Time remake on 3DS needed? No. But it's one of the most beloved games of all time. So there you go. Now, Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker. It's one of my favorite Zelda games ever after Ocarina of Time, along with Skyward Sword. But the art style looks awesome. It looks 
pretty, it's true, true HD, 1080p. So this will keep fans happy. This will keep us happy until the next Zelda, the true Zelda Wii U comes out. Um, yeah, it looks great. Now they showed some uh, before I get to the next announcement here, big one, but they also showed a, a new wonderful 101 trailer. <sighs> this game is looking incredible. I mean, quirky Japanese fun. Looks like Pikmin, obviously. Superheroes fighting on these big robots and everything. It, it looks, it looks awesome. And from the new trailer too, it looks like it's going to be a very funny game too, very comedic and everything. It, it looks incredible. I can't. It's. I hope it comes out this year. They haven't set a date either. Yet. I don't think so. It looks fucking awesome. Now, they also showed a trailer for Bayonetta 2. New trailer. I don't care for Bayonetta. Never played the first one. I just don't care. But. Yeah, go check that out. Um, I probably put put some of these links to the trailer in, my, in the description, so go check them out there. You probably already saw them. Um, yeah, a new game too. Monolith Soft's new game got announced. Uh, people were rumored. This was rumored too. Monolith Soft. What, what are they working on? Obviously, they worked on Xeno Gear, Xeno Saga, Xeno Blade, and everything. Uh, this title. Is it's untitled right now? No title at all. We don't know. Uh, yesterday I was checking out on Facebook and people were thinking maybe they're working on the new Earthbound game, and that's just a dream, guys. It's, just, it's a dream. Come on. Um, it looks incredible. It looks amazing. HD. I mean, new RPG. It looks exactly like Xenoblade. Some people were thinking maybe it's Xenoblade 2, but I had never. Be I haven't beat Xenoblade yet, so I don't know. Why would they make a sequel? So I don't. I don't really don't know. It's probably Xeno something. You know, Milesoft is known for that. Put Xeno in front of everything. It's just a standalone game. It has nothing to do with the other games. It's not a series. But, yeah, it looks incredible. So, uh, then they also, he also announced uh, that they will be showing Mario 3D and Mario Kart and Smash Brothers at this year's E3. Obviously, these games are not, <laughs> they weren't announced. We already knew these games were coming. You know, we knew a 3D Mario game was coming, Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. But, obviously not Zelda, yet. Yeah, they're, they're going to be showing them, I think, new screenshots, maybe a teaser for Smash Brothers and Mario and Mario Kart. I think, Mar I think Mario and Mario Kart will be playable. That's what they said at, on the Ishii, uh, at, at E3. So, we'll see. That's pretty damn exciting. Um, in my opinion, I don't think they should have announced that on Nintendo Direct. Should have kept it. They really should have kept it secret. I mean, now we're expecting it now. Now it's not, now it's not really a surprise, but it's still going to be exciting. But should have kept it a surprise, you know, for those big games. Uh, but anyways, you know, this is really, really big Nintendo Direct. A lot of great surprises. And oh, another thing. God, I can't can't forget this. When they were talking about the Virtual Console thing, they're also doing uh, in the spring and summertime. They're going to do. OS updates, so you know, because people are complaining that it's slow on the Wii U. Uh, I don't know. It's not. I, I have no loading problems at all on my Wii U. No problems. But you know, updates are always fine. They're always welcome. Make things better and faster. So, anyways, though, I'm done with this video. So much information. Um, yeah. Take it easy, guys. More videos coming. Later. Bye.